dear students so today we learn about the electrode potential electrode potential and electrode so these two terms are very important for in the subject of electrochemistry what is actually electrode so electrode is a device in which an electronic conductor is kept in contact with the electrolytic conductor so electronic conductor is metal or non metal uh, and it is kept in the conduct of electrolytic so it is a solution where the electronic conductor is kept and uh, on the basis of the nature of the reaction between the electrolytic conductor and electronic conductors so, so, uh, so there are two type of reactions occurring so these electronic conductors are two types one is anode and second is cathode and, and anode uh, normally it is a site of oxidation and cathode it is a site of reductions now we will define next is electrode potential so what is electrode potential it is defined as it is a potential difference which is which is set up uh, across the surface separating the electronic and electrolytic conductor in an electrode so i discussed to you what is electronic electronic is a metal or non metal and electrolytic conductor is the solution so there is a interface between the electronic and the electrolytic conductors of an electrodes and what is the advantage of this electrode potential electrode potential actually it is measuring the measure of tendency of an electrode to gain or lose electron so if metal is losing electron or gaining electron so it will it has a tendency and if electron has a high e not oxidation potential so as compared to other metals if it has a high electrode oxidation potential then it has a high tendency of oxidation that is called anode and if electron has a high uh, erp means reduction potential uh, em of the reduction potential then it has a higher tendency of reduction and that electrode is called as the cathode so this is uh, uh, we have seen the value in the previous lectures so what is e not op value of different metal what is e not rp of the different metals so now we will take the one more definition that is electrode uh, a standard electrode potential e not so what is the meaning of this e not so e not means here people see the power it is equal to the electrode potential e no e op or e rp where the concentration of the electrolytic solution is one molarity and temperature is 298 kelvin so this is important if you are considering one molarity of solution and temperature 298 kelvin then that is called electrode uh, standard electrode potential that's why we are writing this is small uh, zero like values over the e and if electron involve gas phase this for concentration so if you involving the gas phase then the standard conditions is not like a one molarity it becomes your one atmospheric pressure of gas but concentration will be one molar concentration of its ion and temperature remains same so for gas phase so for gas phase we can say we write here uh, one atmospheric pressure and for uh, your concentration solution phase it becomes your one molar concentration and 298 kelvin so it is same this is one important point reduction potential or you can say redox potential or oxidation reduction potential or e so they are measured in volt or millivolt if the volt that is more positive potential if the volt is positive the greater is it uh, is the species affinity for the electrons and more the species tends to be reduced so please uh, note down this important this is one of the important point now we will see the theory of electrode potential this theory of electrode potential was given by nernst or we say nernst solution pressure theory what is this theory let us see theory when a metal or non metal is dipped into electrolytic solution metal means any metal you can take it non metal means we have graphite so it has definite tendency to Uh, pass into the solution so metal is passing into solution and this property is termed as solution pressure and this tendency of metal or non metal atom which is passing into solution in the form of ion this is independent temperature so whatever the temperature is there it is independent it will it will pass into the solution this atoms and uh, of metal not to it will definitely pass into the solution so if the solution pressure is very high if the solution pressure is very high then definitely uh, the, there is a higher tendency of the atom to pass into the solution 
there is one more term osmotic pressure so what is this this is the major tendency of the dissolved ions means we are talking about the electrolytic conductors to oppose the entrance of the atoms into the solution in the form of ions means so this electrolytic conductors is opposing the electronic conductors the atoms of uh, electrolytic is a tendency of the uh, dissolved ions means solution is opposing the atom coming from the metal into it so on the basis of this uh, solution pressure and osmotic pressure so we have three type of cases that arises if solution pressure is equal to osmotic pressure what will happen here, here no reduction no oxidation will occur by the electrodes and these type of electrodes is called as the null electrodes null electrodes but if solution pressure is more than that of oxidation potential then definitely metal atoms will continue to pass into the solutions as cations you can see this electrodes and this metal is passing the solutions when it pass into the solutions the solution become positive charge and this is your electrons remain in the uh, metal so this is the a metal is converted to mn plus n and e plus means uh, cations plus electrons is remain in this metal so metal gets your uh, negative charge and surrounding solution is positive charge so you can see what is the result of this thing so result is that an electrical double layer is at the surface of separation of metal and solution formed so you can see this is surface at this surface there is a double layer one is electron one is positron this double layer is nothing but the electron potential which results into the setup of potential this is a potential difference and this potential difference is called as the oxidation potential in this case it is oxidation potential and this electrode is called as the anode with negative polarity now next if you take the solution pressure is less than that of the oxidation potential so in this case what will happen uh, the electron do not send the positive ions into the solutions rather it will get deposited by the positive ions so it will get deposited by the positive ions on the metal itself and solutions acquires negative charges so you can see this is the uh, metal and this is the yeah, this one my ions so from the metals what happens they are taking the electrons from here so they are taking so they will deposit on this side of the metal here it will be deposited okay so after deposition what will happen uh, so on depositions there is a charge of negative ions over here okay and again uh, this is positive and negative will form a one potential difference so solutions acquires the negative charges so after the depositing over here so solutions will get negative charges and inside is positive charges so what will happen so electrical double layer is formed and give rise to potential difference called as the reduction electrode potential like mn plus is accepting electron so this is electron mn plus is the solution it will accept the electron it form the metal so in this way this is uh, this, this is called as the your uh, cathode so this is the cathode type of electrodes which have uh, you can say positive polarity which have positive polarity because it is uh, positive polarity so it is uh, so positive and negative will form a electrical double layer over here so this is your cathode electrodes here is this diagram you can see this is a single electrode cell half cell this is the one metal so metal having electrons it is this are the positive ions these are the negative ions so this is positive ions is, is uh, coming from the electrons uh, the solutions contains a negative ions so the sum part of the metal is decreased and uh, you can see this diagram so this is one more diagram in which so in which what happens uh, the zinc this is the zinc metal and this is solution so this is the microscopic diagram in this micro uh, diagrams you can see the zinc ions the surface of zinc ions is how it is going to the solutions so it is going to solution and this hole will contain the negative charges so this uh, hole um, is called as the anode this is the uh, oxidation is going over here metal is going into the solution solution pressure is more than that of osmotic pressure and this is the overall diagram of the electrochemical cell this is oxidation half reaction reduction half reaction you can see this is a cathode is positive polarity 
and anode is your negative polarity and this is a diagram where the this is a zinc anode this is the copper uh, cathode so copper is your uh, you can see the copper is your filled with the negatives and uh, negative means solutions uh, positive ions will uh, deposit over the cathode you can see this uh, there will be a deposition over here and in this case uh, zinc is going to solution so this plate is full of negatives okay so this, that's why it's called as the your uh, zinc anode and this is called as the copper uh, cathode and you can see the diagram this zinc anode is become thinner in shape so while the after deposition over the cathode it become thicker in shape so this is the overall reactions zinc plus copper 2 plus and zinc 2 positive and copper and uh, uh, reaction between two uh, this uh, electrode will give you the uh, electrode potential of this cell